This is Gemar and Irvin Daf Mem. Of course, all the learning for Chedesh is sponsored as Chos for Shlema for Shana Teva Bas Esther, as well as Chosil and Nishmasa. That's the Rizal Bas Rameir. Of course, all the Chedim Yidibe and Bini Kerem and Avam Vicham Ramam Chani Itachem and Sarish Tamsim and Rizal Itosar Bas Kenendu Tvasim as Chaysara. Rizal Chaim Ben Sara Hesna Yisrael Ben Mindel is a pendant of Shavleya Shlomim Bas Nami Veshav Afegu Chir Chaner Val Davim Yitriva Daniel Ben Chana Rizal Chaim Nachman Ben Mindel Bas Sarish Acholi Yisrael. Uh, if this is the last stop that you hear before Rosh Hashanah, a good to Yark, Sivach Simateva to everyone. It's a schos to learn with everyone, and we should continue learning. Baruch Hashem, and a thank you to all the sponsors. Baruch Hashem, even through Irvin, believe it or not, we still have about 350, 400 people strong. And our bracha and our tefillah throughout Yom Tev should be that we just continue learning together. Let's pick it up from the bottom of Lamitesa Midbis. Ashkechei Rav Shishis, the Rabbi Rav Shmuel. So Rav Shishis, we're middle discussing whether two days Yom Tev, two days Rosh Hashanah, how apropos. We'll see in a few moments how really apropos the wonderful Siyat of the Shemaya that the Daf has. We'll get there in a few minutes. But Rav Shishas was middle discussing whether it's two Kedushas or one Kedusha. Just one point just to reiterate, because I'm sure some people were bothered. When we finished yesterday's Daf, the Gemara said that he holds the Lirabon and the Sharu. If you just go back one second, the Chena Rav Yom Yaisi, Aisa Isr Shneyam Taivim. Shall Galias Kishne Yom Taivim Shall Roshan the Lirabon and the Sharu. It means that even though Rav Yaisi said it is Aser, it actually means the Sharu that he is being Mekel. And that was that Rashi that we read, that we rather change the wording in Rav Yaisi rather than make Rav Yaisi mean something that doesn't really make any sense. Like we said, Rav Yaisi was Nimuko Imai. His reasoning is always with him. So again, Ashkei Rav Shishas Rabbi Rav Shmuel Amar Lei Tanim Ar Midi B'Kedushas Teach us something about Kedushas. Teach us something about the two days of Yantif. Amar Lei Tanina We learned in the Mishnah Maidir Rav Yaisi four lines from the bottom. B'Sheyam and Tavin Shal Galias Rav Yaisi is Maida on the two days in Chutz Laaretz outside of Eretz Yisrael that they are not considered Kedusha Achasim and rather each one is a separate entity. Amar Lei Im Mishkachas Lul Lotem Lul Laimidi. So we responded again. This is Rav Sheishas to Rabbi Shmuel. So if Sheishas responded, if you find him, don't say anything. I don't want to be embarrassed because he seemingly did not act that way in the previous story. Amar Rav Ashi Ladidi Amar Lei Ameimar Ameimar taught me a Hubar Tavya Lav Et Adudi Itze. That that deer that we were discussing where the story began at the top of um, yesterday. So Amir said that story with the deer wasn't that Atudi Itze. It wasn't that they trapped the deer moving along to Memo Aleph Elo Michutz Litchom Asa. The deer came, a chutz l'tchom, and as Rashi, the top Rashi, as you see, points out, Uboi Vayayin, who was on that day, wasn't shot like we thought, that they trapped the deer on day one, and they want to use it on the second day of Yantav. Then again, involves whether the two days of Yantav are one entity, whether they're separate entities. Rather, Uboi Vayayin, on that day, it came from outside the tchom. Elo Michutz l'tchom So what was the machlaikis? We had the story over there, whether they ate it or not. Man da alchel man darmer that ate the deer savar haba bishal yisrael zem what's the yisrael ach the man that this Jew that I'm sorry when the guy brings it haba bishal yisrael zem brings it for this Jew what's the yisrael ach a different Jew is allowed to eat it a different Jew is allowed to eat it man da loya achel one that did not eat it savar called the asi the beirish glusa. When you bring something to Rish Kalusa, it's not brought for one specific person, rather it's bought for everyone in totality, and that's the reason why you cannot eat it, it's considered brought for you, and therefore it's Asr. Says the Gemara, one second, let's go back, we go back and look at the story of Ashkei Rav Sheshit, Rabbi Rav Shmuel. Rav Sheshit, who was the one who did not eat it, found Rabbi Rav Shmuel, and he started asking questions about whether it's one Kedusha, whether it's two Kedushas. But if you're telling me right now that the story had nothing to do with that, the story was, on that day, the animal came, and they were wanted to know to eat on that day. What's Rav Sheshit asking Rabbi Rav Shmuel, Vam Relein, he responded, you're right, Loyed Varm Elam, that never happened, and it was a mistake. Now the Gemara continues on this vein, discussing what were to happen if something comes um, which really obviously means Malacha was done on the item. Who lifted? There was a turnip. The us of the Mechuzah came to Mechuzah. Nothing. Rava, Rava, now Chazid the Kamisha. So Rava saw it was a little bit withered. It was a little bit spoiled. Obviously, this turnip seemingly was not from right now. Show you Rava lemizo mine. So Rava said, "You're allowed to show you Rava lemizo mine." I'm sorry, I lost my place of here. Yeah, Rava said that you're allowed to buy this turnip. What's the reason? Because obviously it was from yesterday. From the fact that it's withered, the fact that it's a little bit uh, shmushy, we'll use the word. Therefore, we see it must have been from yesterday. Says the Gemara. 
So what are you going to tell me? You're going to tell me that it came from outside the Tzchom. That which one Jew brings is motor for another Jew. So, and therefore, and certainly in this case, said Rav, you know why he let it buy these turnips? Why did he bring in these turnips? This guy's busy selling turnips. What's the reason? He didn't bring it in for the Jews. He brought it in to sell. He brought it in for the Gaim. And therefore, you certainly are allowed to get benefit from it, even though it came from outside the Tzchom, and therefore you're allowed to buy the turnip. But then what happened? Give him the chazik of mafshi. And then, but then what happened? Then he saw they're bringing more turnips. Then he sees one second. He sees that the guy are bringing more turnips as the Jews are buying it to Maisilei. Also, then he said, ah, it must be forbidden because now we see that they're doing it for you. And therefore it is forbidden. Now this last line happens to be a tremendous line when it comes to Goyim doing malacha for, malacha for a Jew on Shabbos. Because very often people want to use uh, ideas that it's not done for me. It's done for the, the group in total, which first of all, something we've mentioned in Martin Chavez, we mentioned that whenever there's a food entity, there's always a problem, maybe the guy will do more for you. But from this line of the Gemara, what do we see? When you see that they're doing more from you, when you go and you take something, and then the guy come and immediately replenish it, that shows that you are an integral ingredient, that shows that they're doing it for you. And therefore, in this case, it was Aser. Let's continue. Says the Gemara, the two dots, Hanu Bey Ginana. There was these Ginana, there were these gardeners who actually, Rashi says they weren't regular gardeners, they were making canopies. The Godzali Asa, they cut down a myrtle branch, Adasim, Biyantav Sheni, on the second day of Yantav. Lorta, towards the evening, Sharlu Ravina La Ruche Bey La Alter. Towards the evening after Yontav ended, a Ravina said, you let us smell, you let us get benefit from this Adas immediately right away. Amle Rabba Bar Tachliv le Ravina. Rabba Tachliv le said to Ravina, le say lehu mar, v'mei she'enem b'nei taira. Why are you allowing them to get benefit right away from these myrtle branches? You should forbid it, because they're not b'nei taira, and they might come to be mezelzel, they might come to cheapen Yontav, to cheapen and do more malacha. So the Gemara says, one second, Masal Rav Shemaya. So Rav Shemaya is bothered. The reason that you're saying it's forbidden is because they're not B'nai Taira. How B'nai Taira? But if they were Tamid al-Chachamim, Shari, then it's seemingly from your words we can deduce it would be permitted. We know that the rule is whenever Malach is done, you have to wait B'chleshi Yasu, you have to wait the amount of time that it would take to do that Malach. So why immediately after Shabbos did you permit them to smell and get benefit from this Adas? You should have to wait B'chleshi Yasu. Also the Shaila the Rabbah, they went and they asked Rabbah, Amr you are correct. And as you see from the little gimel over there, that is the Allah Lamaisa, of course, that whenever Allah is done for a Jew on Shabbos, you're not allowed to get benefit from it even after Shabbos, and rather you have to wait, which is not necessarily so long, the amount of time that you would have been able to get this item, the amount of time it takes to cut down the branch, etc. Says the Gemara of Daisa, we said in the Mishnah that when someone damns for the Ahmad, he's going to say different Nishchais, different Lishainis, different words of Tefillah. Amar Rabbah, about 10 lines before the white lines. He asks the following question. Do we mention Rosh Chaydesh Rosh Hashanah? Of course, Rosh Hashanah is also Rosh Chaydesh. And this is the first mention, as we said, the Siat Tishmaya that proposed, but it's going to get even better that uh, this is Friday's Dav, Erev Rosh Hashanah. What greater way to prepare for Rosh Hashanah? Learning about Rosh Hashanah. So the question that was posed in the Yeshiva was you let him mention, do, do you mention, I should say, Rosh Chaydesh on Rosh Hashanah? Kiva, do we say Kiva the Chalukim Vimusafin Amrinan? Maybe the fact that there's different carbon, a different carbon Musaf on Rosh Chaydesh and Rosh Hashanah, therefore you should mention it. One remembrance, one mentioning of Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Chaydesh suffices, and you don't say it two different times. Amr Lan, this was a question that Rabba asked Rav Huna. Amr Lan, so he responded to any two or to Mishnah. Rav Daisa Aimer says Rav Daisa, my Rav Daisa Aimer, our Mishnah. Someone who davens in front of the Ambud, obviously the Lashon of Ayvil of Neyateva, someone who goes down in front of the Ark, is the Lashon of someone who goes to davens in front of the Ambud. And what do you say? He said that you mentioned. So my lab, what do we see from over here? Last year. And seemingly you're going to mention the two Kedushais. And seemingly we have a proof from over here that given the Chalukim and Musafim, since they have different entities, therefore you're going to mention it two times. Says the Gemara, Hachinam, my lab, Lahaskir. What did Rav Daisa mean? Rav Daisa meant nice to make a condition if today is Yantif or if tomorrow is Yantif. But not necessarily to actually say the Haskara, to actually mention 
The Rosh Chaydish and Rosh Hashanah. Before we continue, let's just take one moment pause and look at Rashi. As you see, we're scrolling up over here. Rashi's a little bit higher in the Ahmed. Rashi's about 10 lines into the narrow lines. Rashi says, My lab, lo yahayda ala haskir kai, lo yahayda lo yahayda haskir shal Rosh Chaydish Rosh Hashanah. That what la hasna is, that what's this tonight? Rashi just basically speaks out what we saw in the Mishnah. Ema yoyimim lamachar, elastam alima v'chein yoyimim lamacharis. So says the Gemara, back to the Gemara. So we thought this was a right. The says, no, it means the has nice. It means to make the condition if today is Yantif or if tomorrow is Yantif. Says the Gemara, Achanan Mistavra, this is logical. The Gitani of Rice, the fact we learned to the Rice of Achena, your Daisa, Isa, Brasha, Kadashi, Shal Kola, Shana Kula, Veloy Aydalai, and they did not admit to him the Chacham, and then I admit to Rab Daisa. Meaning, Rab Daisa, every single Yantif seemingly, or every single Rosh Chaydash would say a similar wording in his Davni, the Chacham didn't agree. Says the Gemara, I am Rish Shamala Hasnais. If you're going to tell me that Rav Dais would also say it as a Tanai, Shamachilai Haidilai, that's why they did not admit to him. Rather, rather, says the Gemara, Mishamachilai Haidilai, Ali Amr Lahaskir. What's the reason? Ali Amr Lahaskir, am I Lahaidilai? What is the reason they didn't agree with him? Because every Rosh Chaydesh, of course, you should mention both days. So why wouldn't they have agreed to him? Meaning, we when he did this in every single month. So if the whole reason is that he made the Tanai, that's where the Chacham didn't admit. And they said, okay, Rosh Hashanah, it's one thing. But in every month, you don't have to make the Tanai. But if the whole thing that Rav Deis was doing is the Hasky, or just to mention Rosh Chaydish in the Davening, why would the Chacham not admit him? It's a wonderful thing to do. Amai Lahayt like, says Mar, one second. Well, Amai Lahasnai, it's a Tanai. Lamli of Lugibatarti. Why do we have to argue two different times? Why do we have to say two different cases? One case of the Rosh Hashanah, one case of Rosh Chaydash, to say this Tanai, saying if today is Yantif, if tomorrow is Yantif, etc. Says the Gemara, no, Srikha, we needed to say it two different times. The Ashmin Rosh Hashanah, if we just said this Tanai, this conditional statement, if today is Yantif, then great, if not, not. If you only said Rosh Hashanah, I mean, I would have thought, how come we Rabban and that's the Rabban and say, delight? That's what Rabbanan argue. You know why? The Chacham were concerned that if you're going to make it tonight, if today is Yantif, and if not, one might come to you, Mizazel might cheapen, might come to make a mistake in Yantif. Why? Because he might think, yeah, it's not really Rosh Hashanah. Maybe tomorrow is Rosh Hashanah. But he's not going to accord the property in honor. Maybe in such a case, the Chum would argue, because what could happen in Rosh Chaydash? You'll have to do Malach on Rosh Chaydash. There's no real issue, there's no zilzal, there's no cheapening that could potentially happen in Rosh Chaydash. So maybe the Chum admits they had to say the case of Rosh Chaydash. Vidmar Bahan, if only said the case of Rosh Chaydash, why come Rav I think maybe only by Rosh Chaydash is when Rav Daisa says that you have to say the tonight. Abu Bahak. Because there's no potential concern of Zilzal. Abu Bahak, when Rosh Hashanah, might be the Rabbanan. Srikha, therefore, we had a list, both cases, we had a list of there's a Tanai, according to Rav Daisa, both on Rosh Hashanah and on Rosh Chaydash. Says the Gemara, Memo Menalef, two lines from the bottom, Mesve. Rosh Hashanah, Shechal, Yos, Vishavis. Here it is, Arab Rosh Hashanah, Tavshin Bey. What do we have? We have a wonderful Gemara discussing what happens when Rosh Hashanah falls out on Shabbos, just like it does this year. Says the Gemara Bishami, I'm Mismalel Eser. You say ten brachis. You say the bracha of Shabbos onto its own. Rosh Hashanah has nine brachis. You add in the tenth bracha of Shabbos. Basil Aimrim comes along, Basil, and they disagree. And they say, Mismal Tisha, you only mention nine brachis. And rather, what do we do? Shabbos is just inserted like we do. Shabbos is just inserted into one of the brachas, but doesn't get its own bracha. Says the Gemara. Vim Isa, and according to what you just said a moment ago, that when Sha- Rosh Hashanah and Rosh Chaydash, that you say two separate brachas, Vim Isa, Beishami, Achas, Asri, Mibaylei, according to Beishami, why is only 10? There should be 11 brachas, the 11th bracha for Rosh Chaydash. Seemingly, we see clearly, and this is the question of the Gemara, that is not a separate mention of Rosh Chaydash, it's not a separate mention of Rosh Hashanah. Moving along to Mem Amabay, says the Gemara, Amr Avzira, Shiny Rosh Chaydash, Mitoyach Shei Koyla Lishachas Varbis, Koyla Nami Musafim. Says Rav Zeir, a concept of Koyla, that you could include it, you combine it with the regular Tvila. That since by Shachris and by Mayrib, what do you do with the mention of Rosh Chaydash? You mention it together with the Tvila. You don't say a separate bracha on every single month of Rosh Chaydash. So then, when Rosh Chaydash falls on Shabbos, when Rosh Chaydash falls on Rosh Hashanah, Rosh Hashanah always is Rosh Chaydash, you don't say its own bracha, rather you're koyle, you add it in as a bracha. And that's why Bishamai on Rosh Hashanah by Moslev did not say a 10th bracha, but 11th bracha, I should say, rather kept it at 10. 
Says the Gemara, Misu Beishami Kelo does Beishami agree to this concept. This concept that since at other times you don't add it in its own bracha, you don't either do it on Rosh Hashanah on Mosaf. But Tani we learned in the Brisa Rosh Chodesh Shachali Yos Beishavus Rosh Chodesh falls on on Shabbos. Beishami Oimrim Misvalel Shmaina. You say eight brachos. Beisolam Misvalel Sheva. Beisolam says you only say seven brachos. So what do we see clearly? We see clearly that even on a regular Shabbos. Bishama, he does not agree to this concept of Kailal, rather he says you say an extra bracha, says the Gemara, Kasha, that is indeed a question, and that's how the Gemara concludes with regard to saying an additional bracha of Rosh Chaydash and on, on Rosh Hashanah. Says the Gemara, really? No, we're not done. Mikhail Atzmatanahi, that which we just said a moment ago, that which we just said, that whether we combine or whether we mention Rosh Chaydash within one of the other brachas, that is a machloik as Tanoi. Six lines to the bottom, Memon of Bees, the Tanoi learns in a rice. Shabbish a cholly is Rosh Chaydash when Shabbos falls on Rosh Chaydash. Or a cholly shalmaid, or a which is Shabbos, which there is not this year in Sukkis. Arvis, Shachris, Umincha, Misbal Kedar Kesheva. You say the regular seven brachas. And you just mention Rosh Chaydash during the Avaida, during Ritzay. Rav Yezer, Aimer, Behaida, you mention it during Maidim. Vim loy Amar, Machzir Nazai. If you forget it, you have to go back. What does it mean, go back? Does it mean repeat the whole Shwan Esrei? Go back to that bracha? That depends on the case. Obin Musafim, when it comes to Musaf, first why lie? Masla Bishal Shabbos. You begin with Shabbos. Umitzayim Bishal Shabbos. And you conclude with Shabbos. Vahimer Kedushas Ayyim Be'emsa. And what do you do? You do the Kedushas Ayyim, you mention Rosh Chodesh in the middle, which of course, that's what we do when Rosh Chodesh falls in the Shabbos. After your Tarta, get inserted at its own bracha in the middle. Be'emsa. Any time you have seven brachas, basal shabbos of Samuel Shabbos, so says the Gemara, my Abi Allah, what Lamaisa is the answer? What is going on over here? When we have Rosh Chaydash on Rosh Hashanah, do we mention Rosh Chaydash on Rosh Hashanah? Omar Abchista, four lines from the, from the white lines, Zikar and Echad Oyla, the Kanu, the Kan, the Kenam Rabba, the Kenam Rabba. Which, of course, is what we do. That on Rosh Hashanah by Mosaf, Rosh Chedesh does not get its own bracha, rather, it gets included into the bracha of Rosh Hashanah. Says the Gemara, again, we're five lines into the white lines, the two dots. When I was by Rav Huna, they asked us the following question Again, look at this wonderful Siat Tashmai, I cannot get over it. What is the story with saying Zman, with saying Shachianu? Do we make a Shachianu on Rosh Hashanah? Do we make Shachyanu on your Kippur? Give it to Mizman Lizman Asi. Since it comes from time to time, I'm reading on. Like all Shachyanu, so anything that comes at, 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 at intervals, we say Shachyanu. I don't know, or perhaps give it to the Akru, Regalim, I'm reading on. Or perhaps it's not called a regal, it's not one of the Shal's Regalim. Therefore, we do not say Shachyanu. He didn't have a terrorist. When they came to Rabbi Yehuda, Amar, Ano, Akaro, Chalta, Nam, Yamina, Zman, Ah, he says Rabbi Yehuda, even on Akaro, Chalta, a new gourd, even though on that I say, Yashach, Yanu, Amar, Leh, he responded, Shkoyach, he said on a new gourd, Rishos, like, on me, by Leh, I wasn't asking whether you're allowed to say, Yashach, Yanu, of course you're allowed to say, Yashach, Yanu, Kik, on me, by Leh, what was my question? Li, Chayva, is there an obligation to say, Yashach, Yanu, my, what's the thing? We only say Shachyanu when? Sukkis, Shavuos, Pesach. Mesvei, or Sukkis, Pesach, and Shavuos. Mesvei asks the Gemara, says in the Pasik, Ten Chilik Lishiva, Pasik in it, Koyhelis. Ten Chilik Lishiva, give a portion to seven, Begam Lishmaina, and a portion to eight. What does this mean? Cryptic words. Rabbi Eliezer Aimer. Shiva, what does it mean? Give a portion to seven, Elzaini may bracious. These are the seven days of Rishis that we give a portion away to Hashem, which is Shabbos. Shemayna, eight, Elu Chasimei Mila, which is that we give the Mila on the eight to Shabbos. Rav Yeshua, Aimer, Shiva, Elu Shavizimei HaPesach. What is Shiva, the seven days of Pesach that we say, the seven days of Pesach we give to Hashem? Shemayna, Elu Shemayna, Yimei HaChag, the eight days of Sukkis. Shua, Aimer, Vigam. And what is the Vigam? It says, Ten Chilik Lishiva, Vigam Lishmayna. So what's this actual word of Vigam? The Rabbi Satzeres comes to include Shavuos, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, 
comes to include all three. So my love, what was this machleik is the Rabbi Yeshua and the Tanakhama? What Rabbi Yeshua and Rabbi Yezra, I should say, whether the seven is the seven days of the week and the eight is the days of Mila, and Rabbi Yeshua says the seven is the days of Pesach and the eight is the days of Sukkot, and the Vikam is Shmuis or Shani Yom Kippur. My love, Lizman. The machleik is whether we say, whether we say Shachianu. Says the Gemara, Loi. no, no, and therefore, what's the question? The question is, we seemingly see clearly that on Rosh Hashanah, that on Yom Kippur, you yes, say Shachianu. Answers the Gemara, Loi, Libracha. It doesn't mean to say Shachianu, it just means to say the Bracha of Baruch Mekadish Yisrael, the Azman. Says the Gemara, Chenem Mestabra. And indeed, it is logical to say what? That it's referring to not the Bracha of Shachianu, but rather the Bracha of Mekadish Yisrael, the Azman. These are the Azman. If you tell me it's talking about Shachianu, Zman Kol Shiva Mi'ika, do you say Shachianu all seven days of Pesach? So tomorrow, that's not a question. Holy Kasha, what does it mean that you say Shachianu all seven days of Pesach? Diloy Mavarach Aina, it means if you didn't make a brach on the first day of Pesach, Mavarach Lamachar, you're allowed to make it on the second day, Liyoy Mavarach, on the day after it. That's what it means that there's seven days of potential Shachianu. Mikal Makim says tomorrow, okay, fine, that's not a proof. Being on Kais, but you need a kais, you have to say shachianu on a cup of wine. Lame is hailer, I'm not going to remember, I'm not going to remember, I'm not going to remember, I'm not So maybe you'll tell me, no, that's not a proof either. Because you're allowed to say shachianu even b'shok. Holy cash, no, that's not a question. Deglai le kais. Deglai le kais. Maybe the case is that you have a kais. Hatina chat saris or shanu yem kibur. Fine, very good. Granted, I'll give it to you. That it works for Shavuos. It works for Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Yom Kippur. I'm sorry. Hatina chat saris for Rosh Hashanah. That makes sense that you could have a kais. That even in the shop. Yom Kippur and Echi Avid. What are you going to do in Yom Kippur? I've seen Yom Kippur. You're not allowed to have a kais. Im avarach alei v'shas alei. Kim adam rizman. Kabbalah It's impossible. Maybe you're going to tell me right before Yom Kippur. Interesting. Maybe you would think you make Kiddush. You make a Shachianu. And then you drink the wine. Says Gemara, you can't do that. The moment you say Shachianu, Shachianu, Vikimanu, Vikimanu, Lizman Azeh. That means you're saying blessing to Hashem for reaching this Zman, which means you just made a Yom Kippur. Kabli Ale, you accepted Yom Kippur upon himself. Vazurle, no longer can you drink. Damrele, Rav Yemi, Rav, Rav, Miba, Dalta. He asked, did you, did you refrain? Did you stop doing Malacha? Once you make Kiddush, Vamrele, in, Badilda. Libracha, Ale, Vilanichay. So I says, fine, you're right. So as soon as you make the Shachianu, you can't drink the wine of the Shachianu by Yom Kippur. So maybe, Libracha, Ale, Vilanichay. Maybe you should make a bracha on it. And you just put it down. Says the you can't say that. Very important rule. I'm a time. Very important rule. Whenever you make a bracha, you have to be time. You have to actually drink it. Generally, you even have to drink a shear, which is one of the times that people make big mistakes. You have to actually drink the shear. You can't just have a dad. You have to drink something substantial. Says the Gemara. Lace the Yanuka. Maybe you give it to a child. Says the Gemara. No, this looks like your Abacha. Don't ask the Mishra. We don't pass it that way because we're afraid that your kid's going to continue doing this when he gets older. Says the Gemara. Okay. My Abelah. Lamaisa, Rosh Hashanah is tomorrow. Are we going to say Shachianu? What's the maskana? Shadur Rabbanu, the Rav Yimar Saba, Kamei Rav Chista. He sent Rav Yimar Saba in front of Rav Chista. Bimal Yomid Rishata at the beginning of Rosh Hashanah. Amru Lei. So the Chacham said to Rav Yimar Zil Chazi Hichi Avi Ovid. Go check out. What are they going to do? Is he going to say Shachianu or not? Ta Imalon, and then come back to us and tell us what you saw. When Rav Chista saw the Rav Yemer is watching him, Amr he didn't tell him to pull up the mask. Amr Lei, Deliyu the Rativa Rifta. Rav Zalei Bedukte. If you pick a moist wood, what does it show? That's soft. Meaning he basically is uh, talking in mushal. Shows, I see that you're watching what I'm going to do. So I see like cuts the Chamra. They brought Rav Chista a cup of wine. Kaddish, he made Kaddish of all Mars, man. And he said, the Shekhyan on Rosh Hashanah, the help us all. And what is the halacha? Oymir Zman Rosh Hashanah, Ubi Yameki Purim, Velcha Zman Amru, Afilu Beshok, Akisibo Vechasim Ataiva, Kutke Bench, the Yar, although, Mir Tashem, we will be putting up the next year, and I hope you listen to that also before Rosh Hashanah, but if not, it should be a fabulous year again. But thank you for all the sponsors. Thank you for everyone for this chos to be able to learn together what incredible schos. Everyone, we should continue dominating for each other, being bechazik each other. And just like Baruch Hashem, we made it through brachas, we made it through Shabbos, and it seems like we're going stark, strong through Erevin. We should continue for many, many more mesechlas, and ultimately, all of Shas.